Hello, this time I'm going to cover how to log into the server. The way in which you do this will differ depending on the operating system that you're using. If you're on a Mac or if you're on a Linux distribution, you're going to use your inbuilt terminal and it's going to look something like this. If you're on Windows, you don't have something like this and instead you'll need to download an SSH client to accomplish the same thing. Now in this exercise, I'm going to recommend PuTTY, but just keep in mind there are other ones as well that you could download on Windows. I am first going to show how to use the terminal, so this doesn't necessarily apply to people on Windows, but then I will show that next. So let's start off with the terminal. If you're on a Mac, you might not know how to get to your terminal. To do this, you can use your spotlight, your search bar, and if you don't know where that is, I guess I have a picture of it right here to show you because unfortunately I'm not on a Mac right now. This right here is going to be kind of what you should see at the top. And then right here, I guess uh, highlighted, is the spotlight. And that's what you're going to be looking for. Once you click on that, it's going to be something you can type into. So you're going to type into the search bar that appears and then you're going to type in terminal. And that should show you where the terminal is, the application. I think you just click on it afterwards and it should bring up something like this. The color scheme is not necessarily going to be the same as the one I have here, but it should be at least something that you can type in stuff like what I'm doing right here. Now what you're going to do next is you're actually going to use a command. It's SSH and this stands for Secure Shell. And then after you type in this SSH, you're going to hit space, the space bar. And then now this is where you're going to type in your username. So that should be already supplied to you. Let's say that this is my username. So you type that in next. Then you're going to look for that at sign. Um, it's, I believe, the number two. So you do shift two, and then that should appear. And then next, you're going to type in the host address. This should also be something that was given to you. So it would look, I guess, something like this. It'd be some sort of address uh, with periods and stuff like that. So you would type that after the at sign. So this at sign is going to be separating the username and the host name. Now, once this is all set, you can go ahead and press Enter. If you successfully communicate with the server, you're going to get something like this back after you do this. It's going to ask for your password, just like this. So it's going to look something, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not going to type it out in front of you. It's just going to appear down here. But you get the idea. It's going to look like this, except this is going to be your username. And now here is where you would type in your password. Something you need to keep in mind, though, is that this is invisible. If I were to type out something here, it, you're not going to see it. I get, it's for security reasons. But it is registering on the other side. So once you've typed out your password, even though you can't see it, you should be able to just hit enter. And when you do, that should get you into the server successfully. Anyway, that is how you do it on the terminal. If you're on the Windows side of things, you're going to use PuTTY or some other SSH client. I have also a screenshot of that somewhere. Let me locate it. So this is going to be something you would see first. And I might be getting ahead of myself. You're going to want to first download PuTTY. We might give you a link to that. Otherwise, you, you could just Google this. So you're going to download PuTTY. It is an executable file. And it's not something that installs itself. It's just that when you double click on it, it's going to open a GUI that looks like this. And then this right here is that host name that I mentioned before. So this is where you would type in that server address is right here. And then when you are finished typing it out, you're going to hit the open button down here. You have not yet typed in a username. That actually happens next. Because once you do this and you open, you're going to get something that looks like my terminal right here. And what it will first ask you for is username. So you're going to see something like this pop up, username, colon. And now this is where you would type in your username. So let's say I'm still having that username from last time, the JSC57. So here I am typing it in. And then I hit enter. And then after you hit enter, after typing in your username, it's going to then ask for your password. So you get the, the idea that you're going to want to type in your password here. 
Again, it's going to be invisible. So even though it doesn't look like you're typing, you really are typing into this. And then you just hit enter, and then if all goes well, you will be on the server. If you can't get any of this, it might be because you're not on a secure network. It might not have been able to successfully communicate with the server. So I would talk to someone about that or email me uh, because that is an issue with your network, potentially. Anyway, uh, this should be all you need to log into the server. So until next time.